Good morning, guys. You're watching Amber and the Am, which of course makes me Amber, and this is everything you need to know to talk sports with the best of them today. The Tampa Bay Rays are just one win away from their first ever World Series. Tampa Bay took a 13-4 victory over the defending World Series champs, the Boston Red Sox, last night at Fenway. Rookie Evan Longoria hit his fifth homer of the postseason, while Carlos Pena and Willie Ibar also went deep off Tim Wakefield. Andy Sonsin pitched seven and a third to lead his team to a 3-1 series lead. James Shields will rep Tampa against Daisuke Matsuzaka, who will take the mound for Boston's last chance. More bad news for Beantown. If they do make a comeback to overcome the Rays, they're going to have to do it without last year's World Series MVP. Mike Lowell will undergo hip surgery early next week and will miss the rest of their season. Sure, the Cowboys have one of the best receivers in the game in T.O., but they could use a little help on the opposite side of him. Enter Roy Williams. The Detroit Lions traded Williams to America's team for three draft picks, a first, third, and sixth rounder in 2009. Williams went seventh overall to Detroit in 2004 and has been to the Pro Bowl once in his career. Jerry Jones struck this deal just two minutes before the NFL trade deadline closed. Williams is in. Adam Pacman Jones is out. Many of you might just say it was a matter of time. Despite the Cowboys' best efforts to keep Jones out of trouble, which of course included four bodyguards slash babysitters, it just couldn't be done. Jones was involved in what's been called an alcohol-related scuffle last week. And Tuesday, we learned he has been suspended at least four games for the incident. Commissioner Roger Goodell said a lifetime ban from the league remains a possibility. That decision will be made after Dallas plays Washington November 16th. Sean Alexander is back in the NFL. The former league MVP surprisingly sat jobless most of the season after being cut by Seattle until yesterday. When the Washington Redskins decided they could use the running back services, Alexander signed a one-year deal to back up Clinton Portis. Liddell Betts, who the Redskins typically rely on in the backup role, of course, sprained his knee Sunday and could be sidelined up to a month. And finally, the winless Detroit Lions ended quarterback John Kitna's season by placing him on injured reserve. Kitna suffered a back injury a couple weeks ago against Chicago. Of course, this is going to raise many questions about Kitna's future with the team. And that, guys, is everything you need to know in the world of sports today. If you missed anything here, stop, refresh, and rewatch. I am Amber Wilson, and you have a fantastic Wednesday. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.